All right, everybody. Since we are repairing the HE351VE, and if you watch the first video, you know that this nozzle here gets stuck, and we're replacing this with an aftermarket one that does not have the filters or the tabs in it. This plate also is in here permanently. Uh, there's an internal snap ring that rides right around the edge out here. And that metal is from us drilling, we'll show you. Right there. What we're gonna do is we're gonna drill that out so we can get in there with a screwdriver and pry that internal snap ring out because the VGT nozzle comes with a new VGT guide plate. Do not recommend doing this, it's a pain in the butt. Only do it if you're well equipped and you've been around vehicles a long time, but we're just gonna put a whole bunch of pilot holes there and then use a chisel to get this out. That's really the only way you can do it because the new one comes with a snap ring and when you set it down in there, there's enough gap that you can get the snap ring in there and everything will slide in fine. All right, everybody, to get this uh, VGT guide plate out, we had to drill several holes in the actual plate itself to fracture the metal. And then we use an air hammer to blow it down to gain access to this hidden snap ring here. Uh, you're definitely gonna need two hands or another set of hands. Uh, on this snap ring, there's really nowhere to get it out. So we had to cut a small indentation in it with a chisel and kind of like pry on it and just really finagle it out. Uh, this is not a job that you want to try and tackle if you're not well versed in mechanics or turbochargers because uh, this will leave you very sad if you try and do this and get it wrong because you'd have to buy an entire new turbine housing. So uh, now we got to fish this up. Hopefully we didn't damage anything internally. We'll take a look at it, but we got to get this up somehow now. All right, we finally got this VGT guide plate or whatever it's called. The correct name will be in the, in the title probably and in the description. If we find it out, we're going to try and see if we can look it up in the parts manual. It is an interesting piece to get apart. This is why the dealership does not sell these individual pieces. If you go there, you have to get it aftermarket, uh, which we, we ordered the parts to rebuild it. It's coming in the mail. But... Um, once you install it, it's a semi-permanent installation. You know, the Ram considers it a permanent installation and they want to sell you an entire turbo. Uh, yeah, that's why we say don't recommend doing it for the home mechanic unless you're really good at what you do. Because if you see there, we had to... Well, first of all, what we did was when this when this VGT was plate was down in there, we drilled holes all through it as you can see there there's just holes drilled and we basically weaken the metal and you see how it's all deformed so once we drilled a few holes we started to hit it with a punch and fracture it and once we fractured it enough we got an air hammer out and we just went around in a circle and as you can see we essentially pushed it down enough to where we exposed this snap ring that was in the groove that's right there uh, as you can see, there's no, there's no lip, there's no step, nothing. Once the snap ring goes in with a new one, you have to do this procedure again, drill it all the way out and, uh, you know, pray that you don't damage anything. I mean, if you're not careful, you will damage it. And we'll show you a couple little nicks that we got in the housing here, but it's above the seating where the VGT plate sits. If you see there, that's the upper lip, then the snap ring hole, and then the lower lip. So the VGT plate uh, is just going to ride, essentially, on this middle lip right here. There's a, there's a step, if you can see that. There's a step right there. So this housing is harder metal than the, um, the plate here. So... Again, what we did was we just folded the plate on itself down to expose the ring, pop the ring out, and then we shimmied this thing back up. And whether it be by luck or whatever it is, we got it out. As you can see, no damage to the inside area where anything rides. So 
We're gonna soak this thing in some type of cleaner and get it all fresh and ready for the new parts. All right, so now that we have everything together, the next part we gotta work on is dropping the cartridge itself into the turbine uh, housing. And this turbo in particular is special because it has the VGT. With this VGT ring, we have to make sure that it's gonna slide off and on this thing. So we're gonna fully close it, or actually, uh, this is fully open. We're gonna take the ring. You have a groove side and a smooth side. Smooth side faces you, smooth side on the VGT. That's how it locks in. So we're gonna take it and then we're gonna put it in the turbine housing over here. It was smooth side up facing you. And on the inside is that cutout that, that faces down to inside this housing. We put it, we dropped it in, no snap ring. It slides, see, we can pull, we can pop it out still. So we're gonna drop it in there. Be mindful of your pinhole, which is right there. And the pinhole on the cartridge, which is over here somewhere, I think. Nope, down here. So right there. You're gonna have to drop that in. All right, we got the cartridge set on top of the housing here, and it's not pushed all the way down, but it's far enough down to where the VGT veins will slide together. And you wanna make sure that they engage. And we know that this is gonna engage because um, this is a set that we bought uh, for the VGT vein and the, uh, I guess the piston or whatever you wanna call that sliding actuator. That was a set that came together. Uh, so we know it fits and everything's good in here. So now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna take it apart and drop the snap ring in. That's an extremely hard thing to do. Um, so we'll try and get video of that. It may not happen, but the snap ring has gotta go into that little vein down there and then we can assemble this whole cartridge on there. All right, we're running into some issues here with the um, ring. If you look, the snap ring on the bottom, the darker one is the OEM one. The one on the top is the one that came with the nozzle ring. They are different sizes when you look at them uncompressed. Compressed, they equal the same size. So uh, I don't know if the OEM one is just fatigued and you know crushed down from being in there for years and years and a quarter million miles. Uh, but we're still gonna try and put in the new one. Cause like I said, when we compress the springs together, everything lines up perfectly when they're fully closed. So uh, we believe it's just a fatigue issue on the OEM one. All right, this is the way you have to have it to get it in without a tool. There's a special tool for this, but uh, you can get it in this way with a small screwdriver. We got a small little screwdriver here. Uh, make sure it's a good screwdriver. This happens to be a snap-on. Um, it's just what we had in the box at the time, but I'm sure you can use a pick or anything. Just make sure you're wearing some goggles because this thing snaps off, it could hurt you. But we want to get the first ring land open on this side in and then start working it around. But you have to keep this lip over here flush. You can't let it sink down because over here will collapse down as well. And then you cannot get the ring in. So all you're going to do is just slowly work this around, get that ring in there, and it'll pop down. And then make sure it spins. Um, just be careful. And like I said, keep this vein ring here up a little bit. You're basically just trying to get the ring around before it drops down. All right, you see how we're holding the one side in? with the screwdriver and the other side is just hanging on that lip. We're gonna use a pick to pop that and the whole thing is gonna drop down. All right, there it is, the VGT veins or ring, whatever you wanna call it, are in there. We're gonna try and get down into the snap ring area to show you. All right, hopefully you can see that snap ring down there. We'll get a pick and try and point it out right there. And over here, it's down inside a landing. And now you're gonna make sure that your VGT spins. Uh, there, see it? There's a little bit of a gap. 
That's a, that's the gap you have to get that snap ring in and work it around. So you gotta do it very carefully. And make sure your ring spins. This one does. Sometimes they're tight, but this one spins. We're gonna hit it with some brake clean and recheck it. All right, we set the cartridge back up on the turbine housing again. Uh, this time when sitting it down, we had the VGT vanes extended all the way down and they will touch the um, ring in there before it seats down and you can kind of move the turbo left and right and it'll drop down into place. And this is exactly what you want, nice and smooth. Everything here is smooth, no binding. So that's about it. That's basically how you rebuild it.